Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's Skincare Saturday. So today for you I have the Neutrogena um, Alcohol Free Toner. As you can see this is not a first impressions. So if you'd like to hear more about this product then please keep on watching. Like it said, um, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that jazz. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30pm Eastern Standard Time so come hang out, come chat with me. I love getting to know new people. Oakley Doakley. So, I'm going to be 35 here in like a week and a half, two weeks, and um, I'm trying to improve my skincare routine, and so I wanted to get a toner. So, I went on Amazon and was looking for like a gentle but very affordable toner, because, ooh, toners are expensive. But anyway, so yeah, I found this Neutrogena Alcohol Free Toner. It's supposed to, it won't strip the skin of its natural moisture. Sounded great. So, picked it up. It was like four or five dollars on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you if you're interested. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't need to. Anyway, um, so yeah, been using this for a couple of weeks here, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, you do get 8.5 fluid ounces, so that's really, really nice. Um, okay, I have to get the elephant out of the room here. If my skin looks a little bit green, I'm sorry, I just did a mask because it's Saturday night and I do a mask every Saturday and I have, I'm trying to get through my mask collection and I have a mask that has chlorophyll in it. I leave it on for maybe three or four minutes, you can leave it on for up to ten and it still ends up leaving some green dye, so, or chlorophyll, so anyway, yeah, that's why I'm probably looking a little bit green in some areas, but it will fade away, so no worries, but anyway, back to the Neutrogena Alcohol Free Toner, so. Yeah, what a toner is supposed to basically do is it's supposed to kind of refresh the skin and help to Im remove impurities, supposedly. I've been watching a whole bunch of YouTube channels here um, about skincare, and from my understanding, from what they say, people like one of the Welsh brothers, James Welsh. Yeah, James Welsh, the one that's into skincare, and then there's a gentleman named Hiram. He's all about skincare here on YouTube. And he, they say that like toner isn't always necessary. And if you do, if you cleanse your skin well enough, you shouldn't have anything left on your skin for toner to remove. So you can actually use toner as kind of an essence. It's kind of adding stuff to the skin. So I do like to do that. I don't have any cotton pads or reusable cotton ball. I don't have anything like that. I just use my hands. So what I do, is I just pour a little bit into my hands and then I just gently rub my hands together and just gently kind of pat it on and just kind of gently press it into the skin. It definitely feels very refreshing and yeah this stuff does not sting at all at all. There is a scent, pretty good decent scent um, but it's not fragrance free. Um, but yeah, I'll just press it into the skin and this is like my first step after I wash my face or do a mask or anything like that and then I'll go ahead and do my regular skincare on top. But I do like the way my skin is left feeling and I have noticed a difference. I, I've been having some breakouts recently but I don't think it's from the toner actually. No, it's not from the toner. Um, so, but I've noticed a slight reduction in pore size. I've also just noticed that my skin it just looks better. I only use it in the evening, I don't do it twice a day. You definitely can if you want to, but I don't. Um, where this is gentle and it's alcohol free, I can do it right over my eyes. There's no irritation. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend putting a toner or an astringent over your eyes if there is alcohol in it. Does anybody remember Seabreeze? That was like the OG, the OG. Um, astringent, that's what we used to call it when we were younger is astringent. Um, sea Breeze was like the thing. And then um, Oxy 10 or something like that was a big toner slash astringent. Um, but this one is very, very gentle. No stinging, no irritation, nothing like that. And I exfoliated and did a mask and skin it just pretty much feels like I put on some good smelling water. Um, but my skin does fill and I think it does look better. Um, so I really do like this stuff. I would repurchase this. The way I use it though, 
I don't see me having to repurchase it for quite a while because it is very, um, it lasts a long time where I'm not dousing a cotton pad and going all over my skin. So I do like kind of using it with just my hands and pressing it into the skin. Um, I, yeah, I think I, I like the way it looks and feels and all that kind of stuff. So if you've been looking for a good toner slash astringent, then I do recommend the Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. It's really, really nice, and it just leaves the skin feeling very, very clean and nice. My skin doesn't feel stripped, but it doesn't feel greasy, and it doesn't feel like there's a film on top of it. I've tried some toners that are like that. This doesn't leave any kind of film or anything. It just feels soft and, yeah, just feels soft and, like, just feels nice. So, yeah, I like it a lot and recommend it for sure. But anyway, I just wanted to share my experience with this product and... It's a good product and I've tried a lot of a lot of skincare stuff and I will definitely repurchase this one. Um, so yeah, I've tried Clean and Clear, I've tried a whole bunch of different types of toners in the past, but I think this one is the best. And it could be that my skin's more mature now. I don't know, but I like it. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's Skincare Saturday. Um, if you did, please go ahead and give it this video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. Um, are you a toner user? Um, what do you use? And also sound off down below if you remember Seabreeze. Love to know down below in the comments. And um, just so you know, I do have a Facebook group. It's called A Budget Glam Babes. I'll have a link down below. But just people come, hang out, chat, share memes, stuff like that. So love for you to join. And I do have another channel. It's called Gourmet on a Budget. It's all about budget food. I upload on that one seven days a week as well. And yeah, so recipes and little shopping hauls, stuff like that. So it will be linked down below as well. I didn't say that already. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go nowhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on the ones. I'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.